then you're missing the whole point of how content on social media works. I might be quite highly strung. Okay, yeah, like if, if this big deal comes through, I think that's gonna take me longer than an hour and a half. Well, 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 if it isn't the great Kazakhstani bodybuilding champion, runner up, sorry, of 03. <laughs> wow. Saw this video this morning of, uh, and I, I honestly, I don't know why it gets to me so much. I think, yeah, let me share my thought. This girl was talking about, she trying to like, she set herself as if she's a, like a guru of how to make the best type of content. And she's te it seems like she's teaching people. I looked through a couple of her videos. The video I landed on to begin with was, you shouldn't shoot in 4K, you should shoot in 1080p and you should use these different settings and that's gonna get you the most views. I, I wasn't sure, I, like I typed out like three different messages and I ended up just not bothering. And I just, if you believe, I'm gonna go on a rant, but I think it's more of like a mindset thing for content creation in general. If you think that the settings you have your camera on are going to make your video do way better or way worse, then you're missing the whole point of how content on social media works. And if you're trying to appease an algorithm, you don't understand how content on social media works. The algorithm is created by people, like real people, you and I. So if you enjoy watching a video, let's say you watch it for a long time or you like it, or you comment, you share it, you save it, that's essentially a positive indicator for the algorithm that says, oh, this person who has this interests like this video, let's show it to more of those people. And if more of those people start to do the same thing, have the same behavior, then the video will continue to do well as it will go out to more and more groups of people with different interests. I don't care, and so do many other people, don't care if you're watching a video in 1080p or 4K. It makes zero difference. And I really detest, I hate that someone in a position of authoritative power, so someone who has like a half decent following, is telling people that that is the reason their videos aren't performing well. Forget all of that stuff and just focus on the content of what you're creating. And I, I, I know it sounds like a moan, but I mean that in the most positive way possible. Anyway, I, I started to realize that in my life, like yesterday, what is it, Tuesday today, so yesterday I had plans to shoot the video and edit it and start planning another one or two videos. And I ended up losing an hour to something three hours to contract negotiations. But I'll tell you what, two or three days from now, I won't remember what I spent my time on. I'll just look back at the week and be like, oh my gosh, you didn't, you didn't accomplish anywhere close to what you said you were going to or you thought you were going to, and I'm not gonna remember why. And so I feel like I should start documenting the things that consume, like the, the off, the hook off the rail things that consume my attention. I think I should start documenting those so I can decide where I'm spending my time on the things that I do or don't want to spend my time on. Uh, we're at Walmart right now to go and get some, some wassamajiggies, some Skittles. I'm just trying to think if it's even worth you coming in or not. I'm literally just going in, grabbing them off the shelf and leaving. So no, I'll be right back. <laughs> Sometimes I turn the camera on and I have, I have loads of things that I want to say or could talk about or I could just like think through, but sometimes I just go numb. Like I just can't think of anything. Everything just disappears from my head. So for the last like 60 seconds, that has been me. <laughs> but I've been thinking, well, I'll start with this. Last night I said the things that I wanted to get done today. I wanted to edit the 
video we shot yesterday, the dropping the ball from the drone video, I wanted to start working on the Skittles video and then also the hand in lotion for 24 hours. I forgot that I have a call with a financial firm this morning for like an hour and a half and that is really nothing special other than <laughs> having someone who knows what they're doing with money to try and help me know what to do with my money. <laughs> So we'll see how that goes. But I, I hate these kind of interruptions in the day. I'd rather just like finish breakfast, be with the family for a bit, and then go and work and just be stuck into work than have to go into these different types of meetings. I think that goes into where I want to be in the future. I want to be completely on my own time like with regard to my family. I don't really want to have a, like a big team and build a business that's around me because then other people are relying on me and I have to shift my time to make sure that, number one, they feel valid in what they're doing and number two, they're getting the answers and responses they need to be able to do their work. And I just, at this point in my life, not that I'm out of place to be doing that, but if I were, I wouldn't, I don't think I would do that. Like I love what I do, the freedom of what I'm able to do at the moment. And I think turning it into more of a business takes away some of that freedom. Well, I think a lot of that freedom. I'd really like to just be Oliver has ideas for videos and goes and makes videos that he finds fun and entertaining and then people enjoy watching them. You know, I, I don't, I, ha I do have loads of ideas of things that I want to be working on. Like I, I want to be working on these AI GPTs, like both for, for my workflow and for other people to use. And then I want to do fun things like it, it, for some reason, the idea of doing a coloring book sounds quite nice. I don't know, I don't know where that's come from, but then I had the idea, like I enjoy taking like semi-professional photos, like creative photos. And so what if I could then take photos, turn them into a, let's say a paint by numbers or a coloring book and just start coloring my own photos. And then maybe that's a product that could be sold. Like, I like that idea, but I would hate the idea of having, you know, people on staff that do all of that work for me, but I have to make sure that I'm taking time out of my day to manage that business. Like, imagine that's its, that's its own business of making coloring books. I don't want to have to manage that. I wouldn't want to have to manage that. So like, and then timings of things in my life. So right now it is 7.50. I have this call in 30 minutes, which gives me you know about 40 minutes to hang out with Shay and Rugi, which is really nice. But like once I'm done with breakfast, I guess I'll just hang out with them until this call at 8.30. But when there are like random slots of 20, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes between one task finishing and the next one starting where it's not really enough time to get going on a task, it really frustrates me. So I think we'll have this call and then we get stuck into the YouTube video, and sorry, the TikTok video, but I've decided that I'm gonna run the script through ChatGPT and try and think of a way to master it because I really I don't think my scripts are allowing the audience to capture an emotion like I don't think I, I'm putting enough emphasis on that like I really want the audience to feel that the character is lacking something and that throughout this story they're going to gain something from it I think that's like the deeper meaning in these videos that I enjoy making so yeah, after this call, I'll see you in a few hours and we'll do that.
yeah Dude, today was really annoying um it's on me i have this like we okay first of all i had the financial planning meeting this morning and i ended up i mean i guess i kind of expected it but pulling a load of documents together to send over to them and then like I, I, the socials automation, like automating the, the clips from this to go on the social media accounts, I was, yeah. I thought that was all sorted. And then <laughs> what I didn't realize was that I was on a certain type of trial from what the guy had set up for me. And um, I don't know why I can't think of both at the same time. And it's and it's going to cost like forty, it's like sixty bucks a month to keep running, if I want to, you know, continue as things are. And so I was looking at other alternatives, like using a website called Make.com, which seems which seems really good. Like I find it really easy to use, and it's way cheaper. But it just it won't send the files the right way and then I got sucked down this wormhole of hole of trying to figure it out like I was back being a software engineer like trying to troubleshoot and debug problems and errors which basically was what I was doing just in a a nice user interface format instead of lines of code and I just went further and further down and then I got to a point like before, right, right before I finished, which was that I was searching through different apps to make it happen. And it seems like unless one app in particular fixes its issue that it's having, I'm going to have to spend 40 to $60 a month to keep it running. And the other thing that's kind of disappointing actually is so yesterday afternoon, I got um, a nice email for a partnership, and it was a pretty decent sum. And we went back with a decent sum that we also thought was fair. And this brand wanted to do it on a really tight timeline. So I was expecting a response either that night or by latest today. But my problem is, is that, like I... I like, wasted the day away thinking that was around the corner. Thinking that that was about to happen. Like oh, any minute I was going to get that text and it would be so nice. Like it would feel like a bit of a, of a reward almost. I don't know. I, I do that. I wouldn't say that often, but like if a big deal like this happens, like because they happen so infrequently at this point. You know, you just get caught up in it. And I did get caught up in it. So let's sort this out, this question. Washing up, um, yeah, washing up dishes like this. Do you do it with a full sink of like hot water that you put soap and whatnot in or do you do it like this see my parents would always do they fill a sink up with water like i remember them saying it was always good and i always just thought i can't be bothered to do that like i'll just do the few things as the water comes out and now that I think about it deeper, I'm like, that's actually pretty gross. I know you like rinse it afterwards, but washing it in the dirty water, I guess the rinse should get everything off if you cleaned it properly, wouldn't it? And my wife and I were talking about this the other day, having a like process for different things. And actually it was kind of an interesting learning between her and I. So. She thinks she has the best way to do like clean bottles, for example, like the process, the steps, like do you take them all apart and then you take this part and blah, blah, blah. And she thinks she has the best one. 
And I was like, what makes you think that? Like, have you tried the other ones? Like a different, have you tried changing it up? And to her, that was like, no. Like my way is just like the best, I know it is. So like for her, she's happy with whatever way she's choosing to do it. Even if there's a better way, it doesn't matter because she's like fine with doing it her way. Which I think I always used to look at that, not necessarily in shape, but like look at that kind of mentality and be like, just being lazy, just like not thinking it through. But actually it's just like, I might be quite highly strung and someone else it just differs in that aspect. And so for her, like that's a waste of effort to go through all the different scenarios and try different things when you are content with the way you're doing it. Like you're not looking to improve it. Like, Cause I guess then it begs the question, should everything be improved over time? Or are some things okay just to stay the same? If it works, you know? Like I messed up my flipping routine now. That was your fault. I normally keep the foam in the bottles and then I'll dip one of these into it so I can always get foam. Goodness me. Oh, I've got, I've picked up the thick boy, haven't I? Thick boy. Oh dear. Oh, come on, yeah. I'm hoping I can get these few things done before Shay gets home so I can rip some sticks, bro. So cool. That's like maybe play some Fortnite is what I meant by that. Bit weird, isn't it? Alright, so if I know what my problem is that like I, I keep what is it that I just I put things off like, or I'm just using that as an excuse for not getting going on what I'm meant to be doing or want to be doing. Is that what it is? So I just need to almost like pretend it's not actually happening and just get my stuff done. Act like that was never a thing. Yeah, I think so. I um I know like most people it's it, I think this is actually kind of weird. Why is this? Um got flipping magnets on all the cabinets for the ba the young man. Um what was I going to say? Had it on the tip of my tongue. My tongue you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Now, why wouldn't those stack? That seems like a stupid, stupid thing. Okay. I don't know if I have much more to say. Let me check my notes. Oh. Uh, pod vlog quickie. It's called Pod Vlog Quickie, isn't it? Pod Vlog Quickie. Here we go. There, just like shows up, which is very nice. Um, the, I was, I, have, I kind of, hmm. I guess like. It would be nice to have like entertaining bits for this vlog. I know like I started this vlog as I want to just film it as I do my other things. But like some of the things I want to do just don't, I don't think would work as a tick as yeah, as a TikTok. Like, I don't know. I put some ideas down here. Buying 
every flavor of monster I can find at a gas station and then trying to guess whatever the flavor is. Or like buying all the Mexican sodas. At, I've seen them at Walmart. And see if I can figure out what the taste is because they're all slightly different. Like, I think I've seen a pineapple one, which isn't common really, is it? Oh yeah, and then I was thinking about different ideas of names for the vlog. Like, so we have pod vlog at the moment. And that is a a mixture of podcasts, like that kind of like chill, just talking. Because people just talk for like one to three hours at a time. So that podcast style of it and then vlog because it's like a, a log of the things that I'm doing. So pod vlog. But I'm not in love with how hard it is to say pod vlog. Especially for these automations. I had I thought of monovlog, like monologue, since it's just me talking, and then have the vlog in there. I thought having the vlog in there would actually be pretty good so people have a you know a half decent idea of what it actually is that they're about to waste their life on. Um, so yeah, with the automations for the clips, I feel like I know I need to pay for it at this point. And in my head, I'm thinking, okay, yeah, like if, if this big deal comes through, sure, go for it. Yeah, that'll, that'll be good. Just wait and see for that even though I know that I should be having to do it anyway. Regardless of whether that comes in or not. All right, so that has been two unproductive days in a row, really. No, actually, I'd say Monday was fairly productive, like from shooting the video, but I just didn't get around to what I needed to in the afternoon. Um, but we live and we learn. All right, well, see you tomorrow. Let's, uh, I should make a note. I should do my daily planner, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's go and do the daily planner. Should we go with a um, some nice colors in here? So we'll get that light over there to go. Let me share my screen for you. There we go. Uh, color. Um, what should we go with? Oh, oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Goodness me, oh, some nice pink. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, red, oh, devil's chamber. That's quite a nice blue, but I think that makes the plants look cool. Would you like a peek? Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, I can stop recording you there, can't I? And then I was thinking we do the daily planner in between games. 5% battery, do I think we can do it? How oh, annoying, and I don't have a long enough cable there. But I do have, what is that? Oh, there's a label on the box. Um, this nice little USB charger, USB-C charger. Look at that, wow, 4%. Um, okay, close.
clothes. Don't need you. Um, I am not going to screen record right now. I'll just get into the one that we need. So you will do. So I'll edit. No, I won't. Three dots. Duplicate. Duplicate. Um, I won't make you watch me play Fortnite again because I'm so bad. It's just the new season, though. It's just the new season. That's it's what's changing me. Normally, I'm really freaking good. Like 11.06. My gosh, it was over a week ago. And that was when I planned to do the start the hand in lotion video. Um... Yes, that will be edited to TikTok. I'm just making small edits now. Because I'm loading in. All right, so that is up to 10 a.m. done. And I didn't really change anything because... Up until that time, my day pretty much stays the same every time. Okay, screen record next time. So I'll see, literally, see you in like a second when I literally just die off drop or something. Two kills, okay, so easy. All right, screen recording. All right, um, I guess I still need to Script the sauna, don't I? Plan hand. Nice. No, I reckon that I reckon I can get that no, I feel like that's gonna take me longer actually. The at uh, the TikTok, I think that's gonna take me longer than an hour and a half. Just because there's so much flipping footage. Done. Twelve to one, get some get some scran in there. Um, I don't really want to be going to five, do I? What do I think about planning and scripting the sauna? I think I can talk about what happens to your body. I think that would be an interesting part, like kind of like the needle mat. Um, so the priority is to edit TikTok, um, and then it is to, I think, plan the sauna. Those are my priorities. All right, nice. All done. Hello, well, boys. I am about to drop in, so... It's been good hanging with you. I hope you enjoy your evening. Yeah, let's do that. I hope you enjoy your evening. All right, later.